I'm going to show you how to create a before and after slider. So we've got an image over there and look, I can slide it to look at the after. And this is done with a really simple bit of code. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The code that I'm going to use, you can get from the link in the video description. Now, I do want to point out that if you don't apply a certain setting, it's not going to work for you. And this does kind of like confuse some people. What I'm going to do into this section container is very quickly show you the problem and then show you the solution. So if I go and type in code like that, I've got section container code into my code. I'm going to go and paste in the code. And it's pretty simple in terms of it is using a bit of JavaScript and the link will tell you where I got that from. I'm defining my image, which where both of them sit in my media library. So I've got my before image, which is there. And then I've got my after image, which is there. And I'm also defining my width and your height. Now, here's the problem, right? You've gone and done that. You've gone and hit save and all of that. And you get a bit of a warning over here, which is brick settings, builder access code execution. It's kind of telling you what you need to do, but then there is something else you need to do after that. Because if you were to now go and preview this and you even went to a live site, that is all you're going to see. And that doesn't help anyone, right? Let's go back over to our page, look at the instructions. And what you need to do is go over to your WordPress bricks, go over to settings, go to builder access. And down here, it says code execution. Do you want to disable all code execution? So if there's codes on there, and you don't want them to run for anyone, you would go and disable them. If, however, you are saying they are allowed to be run. So if I've gone and added it as admin, do I have the rights for that to execute? Absolutely. Maybe you're allowing other people to use your website as well. So would they have the ability to go and drop in a bit of code? So think about how careful you want to be. Code execution administrator is okay. You then save the settings. You go back over to your page and I'm going to reload it. And when it's reloaded and I go back to my code now, you'll notice I don't get that warning. Again, though, you might go and hit save and go, I'm still getting the error. You have to enable execute code. And when you enable execute code, this will happen. I want them to be overlapping and you're going to go, why is that not happening? Ah, it's because the screen isn't too small. So let's go and shrink that down. And then you get this and it looks OK, but can you see it's flashing? And if I was to now go over to save and go to preview, I'm still getting that flashing effect. Don't be put off by that because when you're actually viewing this on live, can you now see it is now basically giving us the before and after it's now overlapping them. I've decided a center and a close down center into the code over there. You go and hit save, you go over to your page and it is now centralized like that. You will find that even though you've centralized everything in your container with your layout, it still doesn't doing it. If that ever happens, just go and hit center center over there and it is now centered. So for bricks, if you want an image comparison, this is how you apply it. But please make sure you take note of the fact that your code execution has to be enabled and you need to then make sure you've gone and toggled execute code to be on as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Have fun. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that